is it is okay to want love at the end of the day human beings need connection we need one another you can be the most foundationally sound person you can be your own home you can be so deeply content within your solitude but that doesn't take away from the fact that love is a beautiful experience that love is something worth searching for love is something every single human being desires and there are so many versions of love that you can find in this world love is seeing a smile crack across the fact the face of your face of your best friend love is hearing your mother's voice love is pinned and blooming all around you in the places that take your breath away in the trips that change you in the risk uh, you take that force you to open up the world and your pour your curiosity into it but love is also seeing something astonishing and wanting to squeeze the hand of someone beside you someone you have given your heart to Love is hearing them singing in the shower and laughing at all of their horrible jokes. Jokes. It's smiling to yourself and connecting with the fact that you found someone like you in a world of billions. Love is the hope you feel in your chest when you meet someone and you just know in a bizarre and all-consuming way that they are going to mean a lot to you, that you are going to clearly the corner of your soul out for them love is 2 a.m grocery store runs for chocolate and stolen moments on city streets and curling into the whole of them on your way home after a long night love is the quietest kind of beauty this moment moments seem small but they aren't they are so unbelievably full and you can be whole on your own and still crave them. You can be whole on your own and still want to care deeply for another human being. Embrace wanting to rest your heart. It is one of the greatest things you ever do. The truth is, if we, we won't always end up with those we feel something deep and meaningful with some chapters of our lives are full and dizzying in the best way with concrete endings and concrete closure but some chapters end quickly sometimes in the middle of the page sometimes before we are even ready we cannot control what comes to fruition in our lives we cannot control how long someone chooses to love us we cannot control how long someone chooses to stay at the end of the day all we can do is learn from the endings all we can do is embrace the fact that for a moment in time we felt something beautiful for a moment in time we felt something rare stay open please just stay open because when you close yourself off to potential hurt you also close yourself self of to potential oh potential joy when you oh yeah. when you assume that you will never be seen and accepted for who for who you truly are truly are you rob yourself of the opportunity to be known to be surprised by those who will show up in your life and hold your heart the way you have always hoped for to be held Yes, being vulnerable may hurt you, but it may heal you. There's always r that risk. But you are here to risk your heart, so risk it. Because there are situations and human beings in this world of billions that will meet you where you are, that will make you aware of how just beautiful it is to be fully open and seen and unafraid of falling. There are moments you're going to connect with small, intense, and deeply special moments that will stick to your bones and remind you why you, why, you, why you tried, why you took the chance. And it's up to you to tuck those moments into yourself for safekeeping. It is up to you to always believe in that beauty. Because this world will never be the abode of dark.
but that just means there will always be light. Out of the bo hardest lessons you will have to learn is that your life can be saturated with happiness and you can still moments of the and you can still feel moments of deep emotion and sadness. You can be in a loving relationship and you can still feel moments of intense loneliness. You can have access to the most beautiful human beings and you can still feel like you're alone, like you are dealing with all that is going on within you on your own. You can do every single thing right. You can follow the advice of all those who tell you how to calm your mind, how to heal your hurt. You can affirm yourself each day. You can make self-care and, and the things you feel most passionate about the cornerstones of your whole world and you can and you can still feel like it is difficult to wake up in the morning happiness within your life does not dismiss the fact that your brain works against your against you sometimes that there are periods where it tries to taint the beauty your heart has felt happiness in your life does not dismiss the fact that anxiety Anxiety sometimes make you feel like you are hard to love or like you have to apologize for the way you exist in this world. Happiness in your life does not, does not dismiss the fact that your mind processes things differently, that it makes you feel things on a level that is often more severe than most would understand. When a human being has a broken arm, we know, that we know how to fix it. We understand that we need to be gentle while it while, while with it while it heals, but it but when it comes to our minds, sometimes we do not give ourselves that same level of grace, that that some level of tenderness. Give yourself that tenderness. Give yourself permission to exist in whatever reason you are in right now. Give yourself permission to feel what you are feeling instead of telling yourself that you aren't allowed to feel certain things due to the goodness that exists around you. Do whatever you have to do in order to heal. Do whatever you have to do in order to survive. Your journey is never going to be without the dark days. Try your best to be compassionate with yourself when you cannot access your light. From, gen from a gentle reminder, author Bianca Esparacino. Sabi niya dun sa likod, take what you need.